What's up guys, as you can tell by the title of the video, I've been going through a lot lately. And I can't talk for another week due to my surgery. So I'm going to be talking out of this Google Translate sense. It really hurts my throat to do any movement at all. I miss my loyal fans out there. Hope you can understand why we haven't been able to put much content out for you recently. So with that being said, let me explain what happened. So I got mono about a month ago, Epstein-Barr virus. About a month and a half ago and following along with that I had continuous abscess behind my tonsils which are pretty much really dangerous infections that can potentially lead to death if they burst and go into my bloodstream. So I had to get surgery. So a week from today I had my tonsil and adenoidectomy which is a very painful surgery. The recovery is about two weeks. And that's two weeks I can't fish. So it feels like a year. About five days post-op I had complications. My throat was bleeding and every time I went to the bathroom I was bleeding. I've also lost 25 pounds. Today is the first day I felt improvement and I'm slowly beginning to recover because God has got my back. Pray that I make a full recovery and get to be able to make great videos very soon. Love you move in way fam. Enjoy these next clips of me in the hospital and fishing before my surgery. Buy it a shirt. Alright, if you guys are watching this, that means today's July 9th, and I'm having surgery, I'm having a tonsillectomy, get my tonsils out. That's why we haven't been posting. See you guys at the hospital. Going in. Going in. Oh, that door doesn't work. We're going in for the surgery. Any changes? Yeah, let's go home. That's what I said. No changes. When do you expect to be back up and fishing? Couple days. <laughs> Hold on. Let's verify that with mom. Couple days sound good, mom? Like 14 days. 14 days. Long, depressing 14. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so here we are. Hi, boys. We're all perched up. Got IV in me. Got some stuff ready. Doctor, or Nurse Heather, do you mind being on camera? Okay. Nurse Heather over here, hooking it up. It was incredible. Thank she you. did all the setup. She did. She's a sub now. She's going to be a sub. And, uh, I'm going in, I'll see you guys when I'm out. Just having just a few more minutes with Adam before he goes into his surgery. He won't be able to speak after he comes out uh, of the surgery. Yeah, so won't be able to talk for a couple days. Can't fish. I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I'm just going to rip cod with the boys. It's really my only option. Uh, sell some shirts, hopefully. And Dan's gonna Dan's gonna go out with CJ and make an executive decision. He's gonna go out with CJ a couple times this week and try and make some videos. So shout out to both of them for doing that for the channel. But uh hope you guys like that. With that being said, I'll see you after the surgery. I'm high on codeine. I'll see you boys. This is it. Bye Adam, they're wheeling him in. See ya, see you on the other side, boy. So here he is, out of surgery. He was just sitting up, had a couple of um, ice pops and some water, and he decided he wants to go to sleep. And we're going to leave him now. Love you, Adam. First time of OCD fight. Um, all right, guys, so what we're doing right now is we came out, came out of the inlet, ran the beach, and started looking for bait. Check, check our bait rocks that we have and ran up to this one spot and they were on top, chewing, as you can tell. And 
Let me show you how to catch a bean, okay? Not one, one. Of, not one at a time. <laughs> just one. Look at that unit, though. That is a unit. That is the best bait in the ocean. Yeah. No yeah. questions asked. CJ's a goggle eye guy, it's but. Not, no, not even close. Dogs, worst bait to ever live. Please argue with me in the comments below. I, I would love to. Um, so we got this rig, it's called a sabiki. All we're doing is we got our sabiki here, dropping it under the boat. When we mark the bait, of course, or you see them on top flicking, and we're marking them right now. You pop it a couple times and let it like let the little hooks flutter down. What does that do? I don't know, honestly. Chine makes it look like a little plankton or whatever they eat. I couldn't tell you. Well, I'm not catching any right now, but let me show you what one of these sabiki hooks actually look like. I'm being that's what they actually look like. A little feather with a bead and... Oh, they're oh, oh. they smoking them over there while I'm sitting here doing a little seminar. A YouTuber seminar? Oh. oh. See, when they, when they start shaking like that, you kind of leave it down there and slowly reel. What? And then you got to let them collect. And... That's too perfect. Oh, too perfect. God. Oh, oh, wow. And this is called the Dean Hunch. Oh, oh, they're TJing. CJ? They all are coming off though. No! No! Watch you! Oh my god! I just watched oh, every single one swim back to the bottom. All right, guys, we got probably, I don't know, 50 deans in the well, and we're gonna finish off, we're gonna top off the well and see you guys when we're done. guys so I got my three-way swivel and the reason we use a three-way is because the swivel goes three ways it pretty much just allows your bait to swim freely without any tension with the lead because the leads hanging down and the baits going out so we'll show you what I mean by that what kind of fishing are we doing today some mutton snapper fishing we're gonna smoke them today fingers crossed fingers I won't crossed. get a bite now Same thing, I'm just tying a uni. Tie. Boom, just like that. That's for my lead. Wow, little mangrove from Jay. Little mangrove from Jay. That's a nice one. You choked it. What do you mean are we keeping it? It's not nice, but yeah, we'll keep them. Yeah, we can just throw it back. So when you're mountain fishing, you want a long leader. Why is that? Because they're finicky, and you gotta have that long leader. There. So. 6 Ultra Point. Best hook in the market. Mustad Boys. Not sponsored. Sure but you should sponsor us. Okay. Now. What are you fishing? Beautiful live sardine. Wow. Wow. 
Wow, unreal. Tail, tail hook him. So he sits in the current nice. A lot of you boys nose hook him. Very suspect on that. Chief. Eat him out there. Tell me how sensual that was going to look. Was it? Nice one. Gone, dude. Okay. Got a little mangrove, boys. Smoke Jay, you're tight. Adam. Oh my God, Jay. Oh Martin. Little Martin. Too small. What do you got? What do you got, CJ? Oh really? Nice man. That's more nice man, girl. We will eat that all day. Here, Jay, you want to do me right? How big is that? 13? Now nah, like 14. Yeah. Nice small. Little, too small. Jay, hold yours up. Let's do a little comparison cuts. That's probably like wow. 16, 17. 18 inches? Mango? That's like That's a 19, yeah, 19, 19 inch mango. That is a nice mango, yeah. boys. This one's going back. See you, buddy. <laughs> Lights out outdoors if you touch a mango. Let them let them throw up. Okay. You mean let them poop it out? Yeah. He was like a little dolphin. He's just whacking it. Something real little. He's not even running with it, is he? Yeah. yeah. He's got it. Oh Whoa. my! Oh, it's a sail. Saw that head shake. I was like, oh, just an Atlantic sail, boys. Oh. oh God. Got him on. Spindle beak. Spindle beak. Oh, you can do dumb screaming. Jay. Here's how we do these, Jay. See you fighting a sail? And then, of course, it stops. But, we're gonna try and break <laughs> him off. He's coming out the house, Jay. Yo, he's coming into the fort. It's a very sail esque fight. How'd that big sail take so long to eat it? They, like, fondle the bait with their beak. Yeah, you did. He makes sure it's a sardine. Smoke him. I'm smoking him. Right you here. got a follower? Don't make me pitch on his ass. Dude, he's gonna jump right here. Yo, lock that. Get him on a leash. <sighs> Over. Ready, Jay? I'm gonna make him jump right here. Or break him off. <laughs> Whatever the verdict is. What's the verdict? The spindle beaker? I whooped him. That's the verdict. Yo, that one's dinner. Aggressive. There you go. See ya, bud. <laughs> what are you doing? Get him, dude! Alright, easy, right. easy. Whoa. Yeah, that looks like. Hey, yeah, it looks weird. Stay tight on him. Stay He's coming at the house. Yeah. Chill out, chill out. You're tweaking. You're tweaking. Oh. oh. Freaking sail. Dude, what the f is going on? <laughs> is there another fish there? No, you have that fish. He's got a sail. Yo, he smoked it. This Torian's hard to reel, Jay. You're just sus. Break that shit off. Break it? Yeah, we need to get it. Do whatever you want. Don't break my rod. Well, that's the second bite we've had of the day. This thing is hard to reel, I'm serious. And it's a sail. No, it's just you gotta get tight on it. That boy hooks set to Mars. Dude, you did that same thing with your voodoo shampoo just behind your head. <laughs> break them off. Smoke them. Lights out. Dude, this thing has no torque. 
It doesn't. It's because you're holding it under your arm. There you go. You have more torque doing that. No. Okay, but my hook sets are too weak. <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> oh, it's coming up. Oh my god. Aggressive. What? Did you just Bounce bow to a sail? <laughs> Alright, I'm turning the camera off. That's it. Lights out. Lights out is done. <laughs> You're in time out. <laughs> Buddy just bowed to a sail. What do you got to say about that? Lights out outdoors? I thought it was a tarpon. He's been catching so many poons with Ermi that he just can't handle himself. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I got to explain everything going on lately. Wanted to keep the fam in the loop. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like. And drop a comment about the video. Love you guys. Support me by buying a shirt. Moving weights out baby.